I think the second time I met him, he wanted to go to a motel with me. And that's just not really what I was looking for. And he kind of cried. I mean, he did cry on the date because I told him I wasn't comfortable. I met a guy from the first um, date. He said, oh, I want you to be my girlfriend. And he proposed me to move with him to his house, you know? What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I went out to the street and asked foreign girls, what's the biggest red flag experience that you've got in Korea? Today's topic is red flags. Have you guys experienced any red flags in Korea from a Korean guys? I think one of my red flags is when they want to tie you down immediately. Mm. Because in Denmark, you date someone and you're not official. You kind of just see it, see it out, right? Mm. But uh, Korean guys want to claim you immediately. How immediately, immediately? Like second date, third date, first date? Uh, just the moment they meet you, oh. in my experience. Mm. They're like, oh, hi, are you with other guys right now? Something like that. I want you to be my girlfriend, something like that? Yes. Mm. The first time we meet, if mm. they try to claim me, I will run. <laughs> mm. Run. Mm. But maybe a third time, fourth time, they're asking like, do you want to be exclusive? Sure. It's just like, upon first meeting, if they are very possessive and very jealous, I don't like that. And what about you? Like, have you experienced any red flags? Yeah, I think the worst one is like, I meet them and we greet each other and we exchange like Instagram or whatever. And then when I check their Instagram and their follow, like whoever they follow, and it's just like a bunch of white girls. Um. And I was like, ah, oh, it's like a white girl fetishizing thing. It's like a fetish. It's like... Oh, it's like no Koreans in that list. It's like, what is this? That, that's, that's a big red flag for me. Yeah, it's like you're just in it because I'm a foreigner. And I was like, mm -mm, no, we're not going to meet again. Like my experiences overall, mm -hmm. I will say, I don't know if it, I've been kind of lucky. Most of the men that I have had dates with, mm -hmm. they're being really gentlemen mm -hmm. and like polite. But I do have some bad experiences, mm -hmm. but it's from like dating apps. Mostly all of the experiences from dating apps are not good. I remember the first time I had a date on, through a dating app. It was terrible. I mean, like, we didn't even get to have dinner, even though we arranged the time for dinner. Mm -hmm. And he kind of cried. I mean, he did cry on the date because I told him I wasn't comfortable. Well, a lot of stuff happened, but that was, like, super weird. Like for a guy to cry on the first day. <laughs> because of what? Because I told him like, uh, I kind of feel uncomfortable because like the situation wasn't comfortable and I told mm. him like, I'm going to leave because it's just, uh. we're just not matching. Uh -huh. And then he was like, no, and he started to cry. And oh I was like, gosh. what am I supposed to <laughs> do with this? I don't know, it was just so uncomfortable. <laughs> the second date I had for a dating app, mm -hmm. uh, it was kind of good. Like the buy was okay until he started to do the questions like um are you open-minded and that stuff and of course i know what that means mm -hmm. we were talking about like relationship uh topics and i was like no this way we do it in my country mm -hmm. because we're not as fast dating as korea culture mm -hmm. and he was like really you, I, I didn't know you were so conservative and like i didn't know because you're from Latin America, I mean, you're Latina. Mm -hmm. Aren't you supposed to be open-minded? And I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> I think some guys, while dating uh, foreigners, especially being Latina, they expect you to be like super open-minded. Yeah. <laughs> so have you guys dated with Koreans? Um, I've gone on dates with a couple Korean guys, mm -hmm. but I'm currently, I haven't dated a Korean uh. guy. Yeah, I've gone on a couple of dates as well. I'm currently dating somebody, mm. so. What's the biggest red flags that you experienced in Korea with Korean guy? I would say one of the biggest ones is if you meet them in Hongdae mm -hmm. or they want to hang out in Hongdae. I think every foreign girl has been told mm. Hongdae guys are not relationship material, especially you're not going to meet like your boyfriends mm. at a club. Why? Because they're just there to party mm. and they there are clubs that there are a lot of foreigners and so they go there because they want to see what a foreigner is like. Mm. Did you meet someone in the clubs and 
he also looking for something for fun? This time around, have not gone clubbing, but even if you walk around Hongdae, you'll get approached. Usually they're drunk, but it does happen. Mm. I think one thing I've experienced is whenever everything is about you being kind of foreign, so there's a little bit of, I don't know if it's weird to say like a foreign fetish. I feel like I've experienced with one guy before. I'm not saying everyone has that at all. I don't think that's true, but he definitely was just really interested in foreigners and he had dated a lot of foreigners and he really only had a lot of foreign friends and the way that he would just talk about it was very uncomfortable. So oh, really? yeah. But can it be just um, preference? It can be his preference. Maybe, but it was almost to the extent that he didn't really care to know about me at all or really have any kind of conversations with me to get to know me or where I'm from. It was just, oh, you're foreign, I'm satisfied. <laughs> and it also, I think in his mind too, it would be a bit easier with me maybe. So he wanted to move things very quickly as well because maybe that is the experience he's had with other foreigners if he met them at bars and stuff because that's just that culture. I think the second time I met him, he wanted to go to a motel with me and that's just not really what I was looking for. <laughs> so, yeah. 오늘 주제가 red flag인데 한국에서 red flags 경험 있나요? 네, 있죠. 혹시 어... 그 자세하게 어떤 경험이었는지 말씀해 주실 수 있나요? 어, 처음에 너무 막 잘해주고 막 네. 아침에 뭐 아침 인사 모닝 모닝 굿 모닝 모닝 하다가 음. 갑자기 어, 나가가려 했을 때 제가 뭔가 그런 거 원하지 않은데 그런 거를 그 상대방이 뭐일 때는 뭔가 목표를 딱 보이니까 음. 계속 막 떨어지게 되고 갑자기 막 잠수 많이 타고 그 목적이라는 거는 잠자리를 갖는 거. 예. 근데 그 목적이 이루어지지 않았을 때는 그냥 사라져 버리는. 음. 약간 진지하게 연애할 생각 없고 애초에. 음. 근데 뭔가 진지하게 진지하게 만났겠다 이러고 사귀고 싶다 연애를 하고 싶다 이렇게 모이게끔 이렇게 구매를 하죠. 근데 나중에는 진짜 본인의 성격이 드러내는 드러나는 거예요. 예. 그분들은 어떻게 만났었나요? 응. 음. 어, 클럽에서 만났어요. <웃음> 또뭐 다른 그런 어떤 경험 있나요? 저도 애플리케이션 같은 애플리케이션으로 이렇게 좀 심심해 가지고 어, 좀 사람만 좀 친구 만들고 싶다 이런 생각으로 이렇게 가입을 했는데 만났다가 몇 번을 만났는데 또또또 또, 또 남자 남자 다 똑같아요. <웃음> 똑같아. 스킨십부터 하려고 어, 하고 싶어. 맞아, 맞아. 아 이거 거부를 했을 때 도망가는. <웃음> 그래서 정말 진지하게 연애를 하고 싶다면 소개팅으로 만나세요. 약간 친구의 친구 정말 믿을 만한 사람으로서 통해 가지고 만나는 게더 좋지 않을까. 그게 뭔가 한국에서 이성을 만나는 가장 좋은 방법이라고 생각하시나요? 예. 그럼 만약에 친구가 아, 없다. 약간 자기 만나요. 어디서 만나? 뭐 하늘에서 내리는 것도 아닌 거. <웃음> 아니 사람 못 만나요. 좋은 이성 친구를 만나려면 친구가 필요하고 친구를 예. 통해서 소개를 받아야 된다. 어, <웃음> um, have you dated with Korean guy? Yeah. Kind of. I mean, I have tried dating, mm -hmm. but I've never dated a guy like for a long time. Why, why didn't you keep meeting him? Because I don't really like them and maybe they don't really like me too. I don't know, like it's hard to know each other. Sometimes it's pretty hard to have a good conversation uh. with them. Kind of deep conversation. Mm -hmm. They're basically just looking for fun. What's the biggest red flag that you experienced from a Korean guy? They are very intense at the beginning. I met a guy from the first um, date. He said, oh, I want you to be my girlfriend. And he proposed me to move with him to his house, you know? In their first meeting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you think it happened in Mexico too? Uh, no. If you like someone or if a guy likes a girl, then he's obvious and he said like oh but you're very cute and whatever you know but they don't go like oh my god I, I think I'm I'm in love with you like no they don't do those things it's completely different <laughs> 혹시 한국인이랑 데이트 해보신 적 있으세요? 네 있었어요 혹시 그 중에 어, 한국 남자들한테서 좀 이상한 행동? 눈치채고 헤어지거나 그만 만나거나 했던 경험이 있나요? 처음에 만날 때는 관심 너무 주면 좀 부담 많이 있어요. 약간 왜요? 응? 그리고 바로 만나자마자 스킨십 하지 마세요. 제발 천천히 천천히. 
그럼 혹시 그분들이랑 처음에 어떻게 만났고 뭐 만난 지 얼마 만에 뭐 스킨십을 하거나 뭐 많은 관심을 주거나 어떤 식으로 관심을 줬는지 만약에 그 카페에서 그냥 이렇게 옆 테이블 그냥 갑자기 내가 친구랑 어, 커피 마시고 갑자기 어 관심 있어요 뭐뭐뭐 뭐, 뭐. 어 그래요 네 얘기하고 다음에는 또 관심 엄청 엄청 많이 이렇게 들으면 어왜 갑자기 음. 그렇게 많이 Have you guys dated with Korean guys? Uh, yes, I went on a Tinder date with a guy. Tinder? Mm-hmm. Um, me too, but I also met a guy on Tinder. I'm still dating him, so... Oh, really? Mm. That's going good. Yeah, Mine it's going good. good. <laughs> <laughs> really? um, it actually started out quite nice. We went to some art galleries and looked at those. Later, we went to a park and sat down and had a talk. Up to then, everything was very comfortable and yeah. kind of easy. But then kind of out of a sudden, he asked me about uh, like when I had sex for the last time and if I had a sex drive because I just met him for the first time. I was obviously not comfortable like talking about this. And if he would have just said like, oh, okay, that's fine. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. But he like kept insisting and was like, oh, why don't you want to talk about this? This is just like an easy childlike question, totally innocent. And I was like, Come on, guy, it's not like... I know what you want. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that was kind of like a red flag. And after that, I said, oh, I have a headache. I want to go home. And even on the way back to the station, he was like, come on, tell me, like, uh, don't be so conservative and stuff like that. And that was, I was like, nope, I'm going home. He was asking, like, I don't know, like 20 times. So or like... many times. And even um, after that, when I got home, he kept calling me and I wanted to, like, talk talk mm. and I uh, thought like I'm gonna explain the situation to him because maybe he really didn't understand mm. my problem mm. and the biggest problem was that he didn't accept my no he uh, didn't realize that just accepting a no is like not cool like when it comes to dating culture in Korea have you thought oh this is odd or oh, this is weird I see a lot more of like PDA here mm. compared to in the US and I grew up in India as well when I was younger so it's completely different there and before moving to Korea I heard a lot of things about how it's more conservative so when I think of conservative I think about India because it's way more conservative than um, the US is but then I moved here and you see so much PDA and you mm. see the whole um, like couple outfits oh. and matching stuff and mm. all of that which is very different in the US you might see some people like do some things that are matching mm -hmm. but here there's like stores that sell like couple matching outfits uh -huh. and it's like a whole thing I think like couple culture is also very big here where you see people kind of jump from relationship to relationship and like if you're like oh I, I'm not in a relationship it's kind of like oh why why aren't you dating someone which is I find very interesting yeah then what if you had a boyfriend mm -hmm. and he asked you to wear a couple outfits what, what did you do I feel like I'd be okay with it but it also depends on what the outfit is because mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like I don't want to be head to toe wearing the same thing as you right it's like color coordination or if it's the same shoes that's same okay shoes. yeah what about same t-shirt or same hoodie that's okay. I've seen some couples walking around with the same exact outfit. So same pants, same shoes, same top. Yeah, and that's kind of like, okay, now you're just one person. It's that's cringe. Yeah, yeah, it's a little, little cringe, uh. but it can also be really cute mm. if it's done right, I think. Two things, particularly texting. Mm -hmm. Here, Korean guys tend to text a lot more. We had a Korean, I had a Korean guy text me, had like, 밥 먹었어? Like, have you uh. eaten? Mm -hmm. American guys would never ask if you've eaten. Really? That's not a thing we check on. It's more like, how are you? How's mm. it going? Mm. How's your day? As opposed to, have you eaten? Never have I had a guy ask me that. Even when you're dating? Like actually e dating? Even when you're actually dating. That's not, it, really? it be, it's not a thing. It shows like he's caring. It's not bad, it's just different than uh. what we tend to have like, oh, how's your day going? How are you? Mm. But theirs is just like, have you eaten? I think jealousy is one thing for me that's a bit different. The guy that I'm currently seeing, I think can get a little bit like with like friends from my study abroad program and everything, a couple of the guys. Maybe guys where I'm from are just like, I'm not gonna say they don't get jealous. Every guy will get jealous at some point, I think. Girls are the same way. But he's a lot more vocal about oh, maybe you shouldn't go out with just like all the guys or something like that. Or maybe I should go with you. Or maybe your girlfriend should go with you. I think just jealousy is a lot more, it's talked about 
more here, I guess. And they're a lot more vocal about it from what I've seen, at least. So that's a bit different, but respectable. <laughs> <笑>と韓国 <웃음> 처음에 제가 한국에 왔을 때는 아예 이런 이런 건 몰랐어요. 음. 그래서 어 어디로 갈 거야? 난, 나는 거기 좋아하니까 그냥 음. 삼겹살 먹자. 삼겹살? 어, 아, 아 아니요 여기서 파스타 먹자. 음. 왜요? 그 다음에 알게 됐어요. 아. 약간 그런 게 있는 것 같아요. 한국 남성들이 여자들이 좀덜 신경 쓸수 있는 거. 다른 걸 먹으면은 뭐 이빨에 끼거나 뭐 손으로 만져야 되거나 그런 거 말고 깔끔하게 먹을 수 있는 거. 그런 거를 어, 여자들이 좋아한다. 라고 들어서 어, 처음에는 무조건 파스타. 약간 이런 게 공식처럼 된것 같아요. 근데 이거 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 덕분에 고마워요. <웃음> 진짜 고마워요. 나를 위해서 생각하고 있어. 나를 위해서 변하게 그런 거 좋아해. 한국 연애 문화 너무 특별한 것 같아요. 여기는 남자가 꼭 고백해야 돼요. 남자 아니면 여자. 근데 스페인은 그냥 섬 다는 거 오랫동안 하고 그 다음에 어 우리 뭐 이러, 뭐야 이거. 우리 약간 관계까지 왔는데 뭔가 어, 우리 뭔가 우리 사이 뭐예요? 이렇게 아. 그 다음에는 이렇게 되는데 여기는 꼭 이렇게 우리 오늘 일일 이런 거 말하잖아요. 확실하게 하는 것 같아요. 네, 확실하게 이렇게 말하는 거예요. 저 개인적으로 너무 고백을 너무 빠르게 받은 것 같아가지고 너무 충격이었어요. 만나기 한 이틀 만에 갑자기 우리 사귀자. 아, 아 제가 엄청 그랬어요. 잘 알지도 않은 사이에. 이렇게 갑자기 고백을 하면은 음. 저 개인적으로 좀 부담됐거든요. 음. 그래서 아, 좀더 사랑을 좀 달라요. 스페인이랑. 네. 올해 좀 만나봐야 네. 네. 좀 허감 가는지 아닌지를 좀 확인을 해보고 그런 시간 좀 필요하거든요. 맞아요. The three date rule was definitely something very different for me, but it's not a red flag, it's just a culture difference, but it was definitely something that kind of shocked me whenever it was mentioned to me on one of the, one of the guys I was seeing. So. What, is, what is the third date rule? It's kind of like once you've met somebody and like the first date goes well, then you go on the second and the third date. And the third date is when you talk about, okay, are we dating or are we not dating? It's just very quick. And in the US, it's a lot more about friendship first and then going into dating a lot. So that was just very quick for me, but it's just a culture difference. It's not really a red flag. It's just something you have to be prepared for if you want, I think, to date here or you need to be ready to have that conversation. Okay, so um, this is it for today's interview. Thank you so much for your time. Have a good evening. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. 감사합니다. 감사합니다. 감사합니다.